Welcome everybody to Our Green Acres. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. If you are not already following me on all the social media platforms, please go over and connect with me there. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell notification so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. Today's video, I'm going to show y'all how I decorated my home for the Christmas season. And also, I'm going to show y'all how I made some DIY projects and I implemented those in my home and you'll see those throughout the tour. Some of the items in today's video that I used to decorate my home were thrifted items. And the first things were these little Santa mugs. They were 99 cents each. These are like bisque. I'm sure somebody probably did these in pottery class, but I'm going to leave them just the way they are. So you're going to see them styled in my home. Some other decor pieces you'll see in my home are going to be DIY projects. I made a wreath using a Dollar Tree pool noodle. Just form it in a circle and apply some duct tape to it really good so it will stay secure. All we're going to do is we're going to wrap a couple of feather boas around it and we're going to have a very large fluffy wreath. Now the feather boas you can get at Hobby Lobby, but these I ordered from Amazon and I'll have these linked in my store. I ordered a white one and I also got one in the color of champagne. I'm going to make this wreath two-tone. All I'm going to do is... When I start it, I use a straight pin, I stick it in the wreath, and when it ends, I'll stick another stick pin in, and this way you can always detach your boa from your wreath form if you want to change it out. Now all I do is just, I get the champagne colored one and I wrap it. Now I've got a really pretty, beautiful wreath that I can put out for Christmas, and also you can leave this out for the winter season. Another beautiful decor piece that I scored at Salvation Army was this really large lanterns. Lanterns are great pieces to decorate for the Christmas and the winter season. I paid $20 for this one and you'll see it in my home tour. In my video today coming up, I'm going to show y'all what we can do with a bunch of frames. If y'all know me, y'all know I love frames and I'm going to show y'all how I upcycle some of these and how I use them in my home to fill in some spaces that I needed for Christmas. Another inexpensive decor piece that I made for my home was I took a frame and I took a piece of poster board from Dollar Tree and I covered it with drop cloth. Now I'm going to add my favorite stencil and this is from an Etsy shop and I'll have it linked below. And all I'm going to do is with some black, black chalk paint is I'm going to stencil this onto my drop cloth and this makes a great piece of wall decor that I can use in my home and I made it and it was very inexpensive. Now I've had a ton of requests on how I'd make my drop cloth curtains. First, I purchased two six by nine pieces of drop cloth from Walmart, and then I put them in the washing machine. I wash them and I add bleach. I stop the cycle and I let them soak for several hours. This gives them a really crisp and soft texture. Then I'm gonna take these clip-on rings. I'm gonna go about 10 inches apart each from each one, but you put on as many clips as you desire. Now I'm gonna take my pole, put them on, and they're ready to hang. Now these drop cloth curtains I have throughout my home. I have them in my bedroom, and also I have them in my gathering room. Now I like my curtains to puddle at the floor, but if you don't, you can always fold them down at the top with your clips and you can you you know you can hang them the desired length that you want we always go over them with a steamer just to work out some more of the wrinkles and now we've got some very easy inexpensive curtains next decor piece that i diy for my home was a bell cascade to add to a wreath 
there's a huge selection of bells out there that you can purchase. But I found these at Walmart. You get a set of two for $2.98. So less than $6 now. I've got four bells. So I'm just going to cut them apart. I'm going to remove the greenery. And I'm going to show you an inexpensive way that we can tie them together to make a ca cascade. Just take a Dollar Tree mop head. These mop strings will pull out very easy. I just pulled out four. I tied them in a knot onto my bells. And then I'll just tie them in a cascading a direction and you'll see these when I do the home tour you'll see how I styled them on a wreath. Now the next project I worked on this week was this cute little gingerbread garland kit and I'm going to have this link down below but this is a great craft project for your whole family. It comes with everything you need to make a really cute little gingerbread garland. Now this is not just for Christmas. This could be left out all winter long. And I think this would be actually cute for Valentine's too. But you get the beads, you get the twine, and you get the little cut out gingerbread. So I'm just going to take some graphics from the Graphics Fairy because I'm going to do a little bit of a different spin on the little gingerbread. This is what they look like when you get them out of the package. But of course, I'm going to paint mine white. I went, or, I went back and forth. Do I want to use decoupage paper or what do I want to do? But I did. I went out to the graphics fairy and I just searched on vintage music sheets and I just come up with some that I liked. I printed them out and then I'm going to apply them with DIY liquid patina, but you can also use Mod Podge. Now I just applied it to my gingerbread and then I'm going to go over it with a brayer just to flatten it out and just smooth out any wrinkles or bubbles. Now once it dries, you just want to go around, you want to cut some of the excess paper off and then use a sanding block, go around and sand the edges just to remove your excess paper. Now in some of the little nooks and crannies that were kind of hard to get to, I went around with those with a little nail file and that'll get in those little nooks and crannies that's kind of hard to get with the sanding block. Now once I got them all finished up, I went in with a pencil and I repoked the little holes in their arms. Now I'm just going to use a piece of ripped up fabric again that come from a dust ruffle from a thrift store. And then I'm just going to use the white beads, but this kit also has red beads. But I don't use a lot of red in my home, so I'm just going to go with the white. And I had enough to put four beads in between each little gingerbread. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to go through, I'm going to thread all my little pieces onto my ripped fabric until I get it all strung on. And like I say, I just did four beads at the ends and then I did four beads in between my little gingerbreads. Now, once I got to the end, um, I left a tail on each end. That way you can make it as long, you know, it, depending on where you want to put this. If you want to put it on an entertainment center or maybe a mantle, you just maybe want to leave your tails a little bit long so you can hang it. I went in with some stained flower sack cloth and I just tied some little twine and bows in between and the beads just to add a little bit more rustic touch to it and I thought this turned out so cute. I added the garland to a little sleigh that I have in my bedroom and I've already done my bedroom tour so I will leave a link to it at the end of this video and down below if you want to go out and see how I decorated our bedroom for Christmas. Sunny day, but it's cold outside. Okay, now I'm going to show you some spaces in my home that I have decorated. This is our family room. It's a small room, so I go with a lot of neutrals and a lot of whites just so I, you know, I can make the best of the space and not make it look any smaller. We went with a white tree last year and it, we purchased it at Walmart. It's still going strong this year. I do not put any ornaments or decorations on it. I think it's beautiful just the way it is. In our family room, you'll see a lot of DIY projects that I've made myself and also a lot of projects that I've got at the thrift store and I've painted them and upcycled them to fit into our home. Walk around making small talk with people that pass me by. I share a laugh, it gives me joy that everyone's having a good, good time. I hear the jingle bells, people singing about love. It feels like I'm a kid, like I'm forever young. And that's why I want to sing about the Christmas on its way. A reason to hang around and celebrate this day. Everyone's smiling and it's snowing. It's 
The next space I want to share with y'all is what I call our gathering room. This is a room that comes off of our front porch when you come through our front door, and it is also connected to our kitchen. We decided to put a sofa in it because we have a wood-burning stove in it, and you'll see it here in a little bit. But here's the bell cascade that I made, and I made a drop cloth bow to go on my wreath, and I just added my bells. Now I added some little flock Christmas trees going up our stairs, and all the decor on my Christmas tree is either DIYs or things that I picked up at yard sales or Dollar Tree. Now our kitchen is a total remodel. It did not look anything like this when we moved in and I have a video and I will try to find a link to it and I'll link it down below if you want to go out and see how we remodeled our home when we purchased it. 
but we have an open concept kitchen now. We took out a lot of cabinets that were on the wall because it made the kitchen look so much smaller, and we went with open shelving. But open shelving is a great concept, and it's so much fun to decorate for the seasons. We have very high ceilings in this room, and it's got wraparound ledges. So I'm going to show you a way that I come up with to decorate those. They're always a struggle because they're so high, but Ben gets the ladder and he does it for me. But we took those thrifted and yard sale frames that I had. We just spray painted a bunch of them white. I added some white garland in a white tree. And just, I think that just made just the perfect compliment with using the white frame. So if you, you know, ever have a space and you need some decor to go in it, pick up some inexpensive frames and paint them whatever color fits the theme of your home. And they make great layering pieces for those spaces that may be difficult to decorate. Go outside, the snow is falling down. When I started filming for my Christmas tour, you know, it's a work in progress because I Christmas decorate up to Christmas Eve, so I'm always adding details to my Christmas decorations. Well, the garland on my kitchen island, I decided I wanted to add these frosted ballad eucalyptus mini drops. These are like 10 inches long. They have sleigh bells and pine cones. So I decided I wanted one for each um, end of my kitchen island and I only have one so I ordered another one and it came in. So now you're going to see both of them and how I styled them on each end of my kitchen island. I'm going to link these down below in my description box but if you're looking for something just to add a little bit more detail to a garland or a vignette you have, I highly recommend these. Y'all, these, like I say, they're 10 inches long, so they're pretty big, and they're only $6.95. So this is a great value for the money. So I'll have these linked if you're interested in these. And I just added some little white bows. I got this ribbon, I think, at Hobby Lobby, and I think it added just a special touch to my kitchen island. Every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size. Now I'm just going to show you some ideas of ways that you can decorate open shelving in your kitchen. Keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love. Get yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And then while we're going to go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Because all I want is to spend this day with you let me give you a christmas a moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, so beautiful kissing on a mistletoes baby with you i don't need any presents as long as i spend and little special touches that you can add throughout your home that makes a huge difference is little mini wreaths. I just get some ribbon and I tie them up and hang them over my windows. And also, you know, we put our plates out on our open shelving that we use on a daily basis. I've just got them sitting on a riser and I just added a little bit of cedar and blueberries up under it. Just to add a little bit more of that little winter wonderland thing. Now on our island, I've got a thrifted tray and also, I just added some greenery and some sleigh bell garland that I got at Target last year. But I want to show you some different ways that you can add things very easily to a tray. Now, this is on my kitchen island, but I can easily move this away when I need the space. But I make little scrap wood signs all the time, and I've just made some, some new ones this year. And all you have to do is get your scrap wood and some transfers, and you can make some really cute you know, little signs for your, for, you know, for your trays. Here are the little Santa mugs that I thrifted for 99 cents each. And I also want to show you how pretty they are with a pop of red. Now this is a space that is off to our back door when you come into our kitchen. And we just have some open shelving there. I just hung an old garden rake and put a Christmas sign on it. And I got this reindeer at a consignment store years ago. And I have enjoyed him this color. But now I want to give him a refresh. So all I did was I added some white paint to him. I distressed him. And I added a little fur, fur collar to him. And now he goes with my decor so much better. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
This is a space right here that I was telling you about that is in front of our wood burning stove. We love to sit on this sofa in the mornings especially, drink our coffee, and watch the fires in the wintertime. But this space right here, we have enjoyed it so much. It comes off of our kitchen, so anytime we are in the kitchen, we can easily see it. With We can talk with people that are sitting on the sofa. And here is another glimpse of the ledge and how pretty those white frames look up there. Next year, I'll add a little bit more to it, but this year, you know, I had these few things on hand, but I thought it really added you know, a little pop of the white up to the ceiling and it kind of draws your eye up and just gives it a little bit more of that winter wonderland thing. But this is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you. Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed I really appreciate y'all coming over today and watching my video. And I hope y'all got lots of ideas and inspiration for your home for the Christmas and the winter season. If you want more DIY inspiration and Christmas ideas, I'm gonna have a playlist at the end of this video and also down in my description box. As always, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. And I plan to see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all.